Praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds, and peace and blessing be upon his last messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions, and those who follow the right path. Dear viewers, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah and his grace. Welcome again to Understanding Islam Ramadan. Dear beloved viewers, there are so many things special about Ramadan and fasting. The messenger, peace be upon him, said, Allah Almighty said, each action of a person is for himself, except psalm or fasting. It is for me and I reward for it. And Allah Almighty says about the fasting person, he has left his desires and food for me, so I will reward him for it. But why is that so? Why has Allah Almighty chosen psalm and fasting as a specific worship for him? Why has Allah Almighty chosen Ramadan to be the month of Laylatul Qadr and to reveal the Holy Quran in it? Why in Ramadan are all gates of heavens are opened and all gates of hell are closed? Why are the evils enchained in Ramadan? Why did Allah Almighty endow those fasting with a special gate in heaven named Arayan only for them? Can all this be the result of abstaining from food and drinks and desires for a few hours? Or is it because psalm and fasting is a worship based on deep sincerity, manifested by abstaining from all types of sins and wrongdoings, apparent or secret, by word or by deed? Dear viewers, fasting has special merits and ranks in the sight of Allah Almighty and has many great rewards. Fasting a single day for the sake of Allah Almighty will keep you at a far distance from hellfire and punishment. Fasting Ramadan will expiate the sins as far back as the previous Ramadan and even more. And it can expiate all previous sins. For all these great benefits, we find fasting included and called for in many different situations in Islam. There is also great encouragement for extra fasting throughout the years. This is even more so when it comes to fasting in Ramadan, which has greater merits and greater benefits, as rewards are multiplied manifold in Ramadan. But all these merits and benefits are not for the fasting of the body alone by abstaining from the primal needs of food, drinks, and intimate relationships. Psalm or fasting is a complete surrender and obedience to Allah Almighty by forsaking every desirable thing in the world to be close to our beloved God, Allah Almighty. It is a worship where the body and mind fast and the heart and soul fast as well. The body fast by abstaining from primal needs, desires, and material pleasures. The hand abstain and fast by abstaining from fighting, hurting, injustice, or aggression against people or against their rights and property. It even abstains from returning insults or fighting back. The feet fast by abstaining from walking in false causes or forbidden actions. The tongue fast by abstaining from lying, cursing, insulting, accusations, backbiting, slander, or any useless speech. The eyes fast by abstaining from searching for people's mistakes or looking at forbidden things. The ears fast by abstaining from listening to lies, curses, insults, backbiting, accusations, or any forbidden thing. The mind fast by abstaining from wrongful thoughts, plans, and desires. The heart fast by abstaining from the illnesses of the heart, from ill wells, from spite, from cheating, hatred, better feelings, and envy. The soul fast by abstaining from distrust, suspicion, hypocrisy, showing off, cunning, doubts, and ill feeling about other people. Dear viewers, no fast is complete without this universality. The messenger, peace be upon him, warned and said, 
whoever does not leave false speech and acting by false speech, Allah is in no need of him to leave his food and drink. This hadith or saying of the messenger, peace be upon him, points out to all types of wrongdoings and wrong words. The warning from false speech points out to all sins associated with words and speech. And the warning from acting by false speech points out to all sins associated with deeds and actions. We need to observe psalm or fasting correctly and keep in our mind this universality of fasting and the true deep meaning of reaching the state of taqwa or being pious and righteous. Dear viewers, we will be back soon with more on Ramadan and the fast of the heart and soul. Stay with us and may your month be a blessed one, inshallah. Welcome back to Understanding Islam Ramadan. We have been discussing how the heart and soul play an integral part in the true psalm of the fast or fast of Ramadan. Dear viewers, there is great hope in Ramadan. No matter what you are, no matter where you are. There are many evidences for this great hope in Ramadan. For example, the opening of the gates of heaven and the closing of the gates of hell in Ramadan is a form of support to all sinners who are willing to repent. It is a chance to those who lost their way or didn't heed and follow the right path. It is also an encouragement to lazy people who are lagging behind to rise up and grab the chance. This is also a promotion to those working hard in and out of Ramadan. It is a chance for all people to endeavor to do more in their worships and further their levels and moral standards to gain more rewards from Allah Almighty and gain His blessings. Dear viewers, Psalm is unlike any other worship. And the rewards for Psalm are unlike the rewards for other forms of worship. Fasting was not prescribed to be a routine, but a worship filled with happiness and glad tidings. Fasting is a chance to purify your heart and vaccinate yourself against sins till you taste the sweetness of faith and belief, till you reach the highest status of worship which is Ihsan. And what is Ihsan? Ihsan means real goodness, charity, and faithfulness. The Messenger, peace be upon him, explained it by saying, Ihsan is that you worship Allah Almighty as if you are seeing Him. And as you cannot see Him, then observe that He is seeing you. When you worship Allah Almighty in this way, you will have a constant self-restraint and self-control. All your thoughts, words, and deeds will be real and sincere, as Allah Almighty knows all and everything, apparent or secret, or even what is more hidden than a secret. Dear viewers, we do not want our psalm and fasting to be a tradition or a custom or a yearly routine that does not have lasting good effects on ourselves, on our thoughts, on our lives. We want our psalm and fasting to be thorough and complete, physical and spiritual, with our bodies and with our hearts and souls, with our emotions and with our thoughts, by worships and by charities. Dear viewers, Life is based on taking the initiative and competing in goodness and hastening for good causes. We want Ramadan to be a real season of change and developments on all levels. We want Ramadan to be a season of self-development and change to the better, a month of competitions and achievements. Dear viewers, we supplicate to Allah Almighty to bless us and grant us success in this great month and guide us to fast and observe Ramadan fully and correctly and make us good for ourselves and everyone around us and be among those who worship him with ihsan. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.
peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah and His grace.